Hi everyone and welcome to another webinar. I know it's been a little bit of a while since I did my last webinar but welcome back and today we are meditating with crystals. Enhance your meditation experience. So energy flows wherever your intention goes. Let's say that again. Energy flows wherever your intention goes. I can't remember who said that. Um, meaning I couldn't find who said that. And I hope you have a cup of tea. I've got some nice detox yogi tea. Okay. So what to expect from this um, webinar today is I'm going to introduce myself and then we're going to recap on meditation what are the benefits to be meditating with crystals and then um, something about crystals top reddit recommended crystals to meditate with visualization with crystal useful links a thank you and yeah that's it so let's get into it So I am being Miss Kiff and remember this is all about you and your journey. I'm simply just the catalyst. Okay, so I am a holistic well-being healer. I also am a spiritual goddess and um, I do loads of, well, I produce loads of meditation music, um, electronic sound baths. And um, I do a lot of self-help ebooks, podcasts, and meditations and affirmations. Um, you can find more about me and my journey on www.misskiff.com forward slash my story. Okay, so let's recap on meditation. So if you haven't seen, if you don't know what meditating is or how to meditate, um, if you watch this on recap, I have another video which I'll link in the cards and it is um, basically how to stop meditating. Please go and re-watch that and then you can come back to this video, um, which is fine in this webinar. So we are all energy. So um we are made up of energy uh we are very sensitive to vibrations um to energy shifts so if you're into astrology so um the stars the moon etc um that's all energy shifting we are energetic we are made up of you know so much percent water and we really do feel vibrations a lot um, we have our aura which is this our energy field which is around us um, the the earth is made up of a magnetic field as well so everything is energy meditating may help improve the following so reduces stress control anxiety enhances self-awareness, increases focus and concentration, and improves sleep, may improve sleep. So what are the benefits to meditating with crystals? So going back to we are energy. Now, each crystal has its own energetic field and property which can help enhance our um, energetic field so usually you would meditate with crystals just to give you that extra level of um, energetic experience so if you've maybe been meditating a while and you feel like you just you feel like you just need a deep cleanse or a deep um, energy shift within the intention of what you're trying to go for so for instance if i want to meditate with my third eye because i really want to make sure that i've got my um clarity my intention my vision my focus i know exactly where i'm going so that is something that you would do is you would find a third eye chakra so it could be amethyst um as a stone or uh lapis Lapis lazuli, 
lapis lazuli. Sorry, I got tongue twisted there. But basically, that's the third eye chakra. You would literally hold it up to your third eye and you would use that crystal to help you enhance that clarity, intention, and focus. Okay. Hi. Okay, so carrying on. Um, so we um what are the benefits of meditating with crystals? So as I said before, you would use um a crystal to enhance your experience um um usually as i said before if you wanted to um use your third eye for um getting clarity and intention you would literally find a stone like amethyst set the stone there and really just focus on that energetic field and properties of that stone to help your intention and experience within meditation so each crystal has its own properties some um, may include self-love compassion creativity and there are so many properties because there are so many crystals and for today's purpose and webinar i couldn't write down all the properties but i do recommend um, a few crystals that i have used before and that um, i really resonate with as well so crystals are chakra chakra cleansers as well so you can use um, in chakra meditation so if you're looking for your root chakra which is grounding or your sacral chakra more emotional your solar plexus which is um, very much um, your creativity your heart chakra which is all about love your throat chakra which is all about communication third eye clarity in the crown is about your um your intention and your spiritual growth okay so um as i said you can actually lay down and you can use your uh, different crystals to help cleanse yourself so you can have a crystal healing that's called and that really helps energetically and um, block your uh, chakras which can be blocked over time um and chakras i mean Crystals really resonate energy and increases your energetic frequency. So what I mean with that is um, we are obviously all walking around and we've got different frequency vibrations. So if you're feeling really depressed or you've, you're quite aggressive or anything like that, you have a very low vibration, okay? And you will attract vibrations at that same level. So the goal is to always higher our vibrations, so higher ourselves, clear, let go of things that do not serve us, and um, we really want to always strive for hiring our frequency because this in fact this impacts our day to day life. So this could be um, meeting our potential partners or um, um, our work or anything that we want to aspire to do, we could be energetically blocked because we're in a low vibrational state. So what is fantastic about crystals is that it always, the intention is to let go of negative energy and to really absorb the negative and then give you um, more positivity. So, and meditating with crystals really restores balance as quickly as possible i had um, a really cool spiritual healer um when i was going through a tough time he landed up um taking one stone i think it's colonian uh colonian um and he blessed it with mother gaia and i wanted that crystal for my confidence because i was really lacking confidence so i used to take it to whenever i used to perform um just to give me that energetic comfort um so that i could feel a bit more stronger and it really did work uh, for me at least um and it's definitely a personal experience when it comes to meditating with crystals 
Okay, so let's move on. I might have repeated a lot what I've said, but let's go for it. Um, so as I said, uh, helps enhance, restore the positive energy in your mind, your body, and your soul. It, getting rid of negative energies. It's an ancient tradition. This is based on personal experience and there's no scientific proof. So I wanted to put this in there because crystals is very much a personal thing. So um, some people don't think it's a lot of rubbish. Other people think it's the best thing that's come out of this world. Personally, for me, it's completely up to you what resonates with you. And that comes with all forms of spirituality is really like whatever resonates with you. We all are different vibrations. Okay. So at some point in your life, you might go, okay, let me try a crystal. And the reason how you need to assess and find a crystal. So I've got, for instance, this orange uh, quartz. So you would really, you could pick up the crystal. Um, just bear in mind, pick, um, picking up crystals is really like, um, especially in the stalls, it could be a little bit temperamental because some of them carry negative energies that people have touched already. So rather just look at the crystals and see if it resonates with you, meaning are you drawn to it by its color, by its shape? Uh, maybe you're just so drawn to that specific crystal. I would say always pick that crystal that you're drawn with and then go look it up what it is and um, look at the properties. And then it can maybe remind you of what you're looking to do. Uh, crystals are just fantastic. I can talk about it all day, but you really just want to resonate with the crystal that is um, most with you. I must admit that I um, haven't tried a lot of crystals. I'm still working my way through it, but that's only because I'm picking up what resonates with me. I love quartz. I love um, heart chakra, which is, sorry, rose quartz. I love amethyst. I used to be given loads of gifts of amethyst um, everywhere. People just used to give it to me all the time. So as I said, yeah, look what you're trying to work on the best thing to find also the best crystal for you is look what you're trying to work on. Are you looking to do self-expression, self-love? Um, are you trying to get more creativity? So when I'm trying to produce some music or um, I'm trying to make a, a really cool webinar and um, I train to have a lot of uh, citrine or uh, colonian and, um, yeah, so those type of crystals that bring creativity to me so that it gives me that energetic feel to move forward. Okay. A minute. Okay, so let's go into the crystals. I'm so excited for this part. So I've got a few recommended crystals. It's completely up to you whether um, it resonates with you or not. But just so you know, this is what you should be looking out for when you look for crystals. So um, the quartz, so the most, the most general crystal you could ever get is a quartz. So I've got um, just these small little quartz Ooh, over here and over here, or we can have sal selenite. And this is the master healer crystal. It's versatile, powerful, amplifies intention and energy and it's, you can use it um, mostly for your crown chakra but you can also use it for everything else so if you are looking for any intention you just hold it in your hand you can place it wherever you want or maybe lay down and buy a few so you place it in your energetic field around you so that you really absorb it from every angle which is quite cool to do a little bit of an eight point um, laying down meditation that's really powerful uh, rose quartz, which is something that I have so much of. Uh, let me see if I can pick it here. It looks something like this, if you can see that. And that is um, universal love with self-love, compassion, restores balance, emotion, unconditional love, and it's the heart chakra. So this is a fantastic um, crystal if you are blocked in terms of your self-love. Or if you are struggling to love someone else, um, this is a fantastic crystal for this. Um, then black tourmaline. 
I've actually I've walked around with black tourmaline before. Um, it's something that I didn't realize in the beginning, but it's so amazing. It's grounding. It's your root chakra. It connects you to the earth. It gives you the, a sense of power and clarity to those in difficult environments. So when I was really living in such intense environment, I felt that black tourmaline just grounded me and i did um i've actually got it on my podcast i did uh, a full moon meditation and i was meditating with black tourmaline and it was fantastic um yeah i really felt the grounding sensation and i was really relaxed and calm after that and felt quite empowered if i'm not gonna lie okay so um we've got citrine so i think i'll have to open my little box for citrine uh, yes, it's in here. Ooh. So it's usually about this goldy, orange, yellow, and a little bit of white. Okay. Um, and this promotes motivation, um, activates creativity, encourages self expression, enhances creativity, and revitalizes the mind. It releases negative traits of depression, fears, phobias and emotionally balancing. It's used in your sacral and your solar plexus um, for those type of meditating. Um, so yeah, you could really just do it for either emotional balancing or creative balance. Um, I use it mostly for my creative balance and it always seems to do the job perfectly for me. Then we've got tiger eye and tiger eye is like this and tiger eye it has the power for focusing the mind promoting mental clarity assisting us to resolve problems objectively and clouded by emotions it's also a sacral and a sacral chakra but can also be used as your third eye because that's mental clarity okay um and I've never meditated with tiger eye before. It's something new to my crystal collection, but I definitely am going to do a little meditation soon on this. Amethyst, which is one of my favorite stones. I've got one massive amethyst here, actually. It's so big. So this one's a nice chunk, okay? And this is a powerful protective stone. It relieves stress and strain soothes irritable irritability balance mood swings dispels anger rage fear and anxiety and amethyst is believed to encourage sobriety which is releasing alcohol and drugs now i've never used it for that um i've never used it for alcohol but it's believed to and if i'm honest uh that's a very ancient tradition so whether it's true or not you will have to put it to the test but amethyst is more um i use it for the crown chakra and the third eye chakra um uh, meditations um it just it does give you that sense of um protectiveness i would add let me just put that down okay so blue lace Agate. Now, I learned actually about this crystal when I was in Camden Market and I was looking for a throat chakra. Um, I just wanted to speak my truth, you know. So, um, this wonderful woman on the market landed up giving me a blue lace agate necklace. And usually, you're spied. I'm telling you now, if you open your awareness a little bit and when we can see the world a little bit more on a day to day basis, but if you walk around, you'll, you'll see a lot of people wearing a blue lace agate um, necklace and it's usually like a blue I don't have that with me right this minute because um, it's packed away but this it's a distinctive baby blue and it's nine out of ten times that's what someone's wearing on their neck like it's the most popular um, throat chakra um, stone so it's very cooling, calm stone. Um, it has a sense of peace and tranquility, powerful throat healer. It assists with verbal expression, thoughts, and feelings. So buy yourself a blue lace agate 
necklace and life will be great. So we've also got blue kyanite, which is an excellent stone for meditation and in tuning. So this could be for all the chakras really, but uh, because it's the blue kyanite, it's mostly for the throat chakra and it can help balance your yin and yang. Okay, amazonite, and I've got that stone as well somewhere. Definitely not this one, because that one's too thin. Um, it's in my little bowl in my drawer because there's some crystals I like to just leave um, packed away. Um, Amazonite, which is a green and not like an emerald green color. This balances your masculine feminine energy, which this is actually a great crystal to be meditating with um, this time with this whole masculine and feminine energy shift. Um, different points. Of, oh, so it gives you a different point of view so you can get a different type of ex, um, perception. It soothes emotional trauma, elevates worry and fear, manifesting universal love. So heart and throat chakra, you can use it for that. Um, we are nearly done with the crystals, but because it's meditating with crystals, you really need to know the properties and what you're doing. So, um, carnelian, I, I can't even say that. I, I've struggled for this whole webinar to say that. But it is this one. It's this beautiful little, this one. Not this specific one, but this is the one that was best with uh, Mother Gaia. So Mother Gaia is super nurturing, motherly energy. Uh, a stabilizing stone. It restores vitality, motivation, and stimulates creativity. The two stones I really use the most is these two, like I said, the carnelian and the uh, citrine for my creativity because I'm always creative um, and I love to always change the different colors on my table with all of my crystals. I've got at least 10 crystals on my table because it just gives you that really good energy that you can remove blockages, especially when you're working to promote your creativity. It encourages um, and promotes positive life choices, dispels apathy, and motivates for success. So it's your root and shakel chakra. Then this is what I also got tongue twisted earlier. Lapis lazuli, which is something that I definitely want to buy. It's on my to buy list. And this is also a powerful um, full moon and new moon chakra to be meditating with. So it encourages self-awareness, allows self-expression, reveals inner truth, providing qualities of honesty, compassion, morality to the personality, stimulates objectively, clarity, encourage creativity. It's just like a little powerhouse in a stone, isn't it? Um, and it, this is mostly for your throat and third eye, but I would also use it for my solar plexus um, and even heart chakra, to be honest with you. Um, why not? It's a beautiful, like deep blue, green, purple, that type of color. So if you're wanting to know more about the different crystals, um, there is so many properties, but a good website I found was charmsoflight.com. And you can literally just go on there, research what you want. And it gives you even the associated uh, planetarial um, um, connections between the stones. So we're going to try something different. Uh, I'm going to take you on a little bit of a, a guided meditation. So because I obviously don't know what crystals you have at home or if you've never had the opportunity to have any crystals, um, we're just going to do a little visualization. So this is that you can do as well at home. Um, once you found the crystal of choice and you can tailor it to what you want. Okay, so wherever you are, just gently begin to close your eyes, draw your shoulders back and take in a nice deep breath in and out.
So you're going to bring your awareness to your third eye chakra, which is between your eyebrows. And you're going to envision a blank white screen. With every inhale and exhale, you see yourself walking towards the beach. Sunny, blue skies, and you are alone on the beach. Maybe you see some birds. As you inhale, exhale, the colors start to expand. The sounds become more apparent. And you start walking along this beach towards some rocks in the distance. As you inhale and exhale, walking to the rocks, you're becoming nearer and nearer. And the beach is becoming a little bit more distant. As you come near to the rocks, you see a rose quartz cave. Every inhale and exhale, you walk into this rose quartz cave and you are so impressed how beautiful, how radiant the shiny pink stone all over the walls covered in rose quartz. As you walk through this cave, you feel the sense of unconditional love, self-love, so much compassion. And as you walk through this cage, you absorb all this energy, this radiating energy. Inhale, exhale, just standing in this cave, absorbing the power of the rose quartz, unconditional love self-love. Take a nice few inhales and exhales. As you stood there filled with all this fantastic and loving energy, you are ready to leave this cage. As you inhale and exhale, you're walking through the cage towards the front of the cage. You can see the beach in the distance, the waves breaking against the rocks and the sun shining. As you leave the cage, it closes and it's just loads of rocks, no more cave. And you walk towards the beach still filled with all this powerful energy. The sea is in the distance. And you sit on the beach in the sand. And you're just so empowered with all this love. You place your hands on your heart. You take a nice inhale and exhale. And absorb the radiate energy rays of the sun. The flowing emotional stability of the calming ocean. And the grounding energy of the sand. Just taking a moment to be appreciative in that moment. And as you exhale, you say goodbye to the beach. As you bring yourself back to your third eye. Take a nice inhale, exhale, your third eye, your back in your body, feeling calm, feeling loved. As you inhale, exhale, noticing where you are, sat in your room, and you begin to gently open your eyes. Okay, so 
that is one of my favorite visualizations. I'm just going to take a sip of my tea. So if you're ever wanting to go forward and uh, find a stone that you resonate with, you can literally just go into this beautiful cave and just absorb the energy of it and come back out so it's completely up to you you can tailor that to you um but that's just a quick meditation for you and visualization so um yes just a few links for you so i have um amazing content on youtube so i have um meditations i've got um loads of electronic sound bars which is binaural beats that i produced and um loads of recipes and yeah so i would really like your support by subscribing to my youtube channel it would mean a lot to me and also to um being miss kiff so i can make more webinars like this supports the channel like my Facebook and Instagram so that you could um, follow me and get later updates. I put loads, all my updates come on Facebook and Instagram um, uh, daily. You should check that out. It's being Miss Kiff. Um, on my website, I've got good content as well. So check it out, misskiff.com. And if you're ever particularly into uh, meditation music, I've got music as well online at beingmisskiff.bankapp.com and I run a Serving Your Higher Self podcast, which is on Spotify. All you have to do is look at Being Miss Kiff. If you want to contact me for any reason, feel free to add info at misskiff.com. That's completely up to you. So I've got a little bit of announcement because I'm so excited to do this. I have had a bit of a... Uh, creative breakthrough this morning and I will be designing a chakra cleanse and sound healing online retreat so this is completely free um, it will be a chakra meditations and then also using sound and what I will do is I'll link uh, what type of recommended stones that you should be using within those cleanses as well um, this will be all free online on YouTube. My estimate time of arrival for delivery is hoping by this month. Um, I just have to record all my meditations for you. But um, I like I'm a I'm a I'm a quick person. I like to be productive. I like to get it in, get it out, get it sorted. So it will be sooner rather than later. I also have been teaching quite a lot of full moon and new moon retreats, but um, there's loads of time imbalances with everybody because obviously people work on different time schedules in the whole world. So um, this will also be free, but this is every two weeks, you'll have access to a full moon and new moon online retreat. Okay, just free. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and it's there for you to use. And again, this will be done all on this month. So we've only got about three weeks left. So that's my goal. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> uh, but this is so exciting because I'm so excited. This is the first news I'm broadcasting today. Um, but I'm ready to create. I've got loads of singing bowls. It will be frequency healing, everything. Like I am ready. And I'm just excited to share with you as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you've learned something today. Um, and I hope that you could take some information that I've given you and you can go back and go, okay, cool. I've been inspired. I'm going to buy myself a crystal and then I'm going to try and meditate with it. So um, I do have online uh, workbooks. So if you're interested, my gift to you today is a 30% discount, which you just use Gratitude30 on my website and you get it, um, that off. And then this is a free webinar, but I'm always open to donations if you feel that this webinar is worth anything. Um, if you don't have any money to donate, it's absolutely fine. I don't um, mind it. What I do ask you is just if you could just subscribe to my YouTube channel and like uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. Cool. That's it for today's webinar. Um, do you have any questions?
yeah, I will be doing another webinar. Um, I likely to be only next month because um, I want to take a lot of time. I'm only going to do once a month. I tend to take on too much at a time. But um, next, if you're also looking to look at other um, webinars, I've got loads on YouTube um, and it'd be great for you to look at it there. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that you joined me today. Yamara, lovely name as well. Thank you so much. So yes, as I said, please check out my YouTube. There will be loads of, um, um, there, well, let me just stop sharing my page and let me just find a link for you. So it makes it easier for you to do it. One second. Okay, so I've just put it in the um, the chat for you. So yeah, like I said, um, I will be. Oh, thank you. I'm very happy that you are you are feeling very more grounded now. Um, so I have what I what I recommend to you is I have an amazing binaural beat meditation um, music which I have made myself, and it is absolutely fantastic. What I recommend you listen to with headphones. And you just sit down somewhere quiet, tell everybody to leave you alone. And you just take some time to reconnect to yourself. And I'll share that with you as well now as well. So that is just um, absolutely restoring. And it's my gift to you. Okay, so um, yes, I make my own music. <laughs> so um, I will definitely. I will email you for the next webinar if you're interested and we can um, move forward from there. So cool. Hope you have a wonderful day and namaste. Take care and loads of love. Bye-bye.